Here is your forecast first with meteorologist Zane Satry. Dry across parts of the area to the north and to the west of the Quad Cities this evening, but still plenty of rain down off to the south and east here because of all the rain that's fallen. Some places, two or three, even more inches of rain earlier on today. Got flash flood wa- warnings in effect for all of these rain boxes. A lot of water down that direction later on tonight. Here's your forecast first. The rain mainly stays off to the south for the next few hours into the evening hours, or excuse me, late overnight hours. A few isolated showers tomorrow on Saturday, then some clouds as we head through the rest of the weekend. We'll talk more about that weekend forecast here in a bit on Local 4 News at 10. WHBF is local for you. This is Local 4 News at 10. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Needleman. Thanks for choosing Local 4 News at 10. Health professionals say they still don't know what's causing hundreds of people to get sick after vaping. However, they suggest there's a trend. That's tonight's top story at 10 o'clock. We tracked down the number of cases. 13 people died across the country, one of them in Illinois. 88 people reported getting sick in Illinois. Iowa's Department of Public Health reports 23 cases. Local force Grace Runkel joined us live in the news and with advice from professionals. Grace? Jim, the number one piece of advice from professionals at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is do not vape. But there is one kind of vape they are more worried about than others. More than three-fourths of the people who have gotten sick from vaping also reported using cartridges that contain THC. In Iowa, that makes up almost 80% of cases. In Illinois, the report says most THC cartridges were not bought in stores but from friends or off the street. 